Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 414. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Trick 407 to 414. If you don't have Excel 2007 or coming out next April 2010, you are missing out on an amazing feature dynamic ranges. So Excel 2003, actually, if you have 2003, the list feature, Control L. Uh, 7 and 10 have the table feature. Dynamic ranges. I'm going to show you an example, data validation, VLOOKUP chart, and pivot tables. Now, I've already done this before, but I want to stress something really important. You can go backwards. You can create all your data validation, all your VLOOKUPs, all your charts, and pivot tables, which I'm going to do really quickly here without having your data defined as a table and then you can go back later and define it as a table and it'll work. Let's just see this because it's too, you, you don't believe it until you actually try it. Now I want a data validation. I have notes over here. I'm going to do this all really fast. If you don't know how to do data validation, VLOOKUP, pivot tables, charts, there's some notes there for other reference videos. Alt DL and then I want to allow for data validation only these dates right here from my table. Now, do you see that A5 to A10? Remember that. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to come over here and select this. Now, let's do VLOOKUP. I want to look up this date and return the sale. So I'm going to do equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be this, comma, the table array right there. Notice, do you see that A5 to B10? Remember that, comma, column index, I want to return the second column, so I'm going to put that. Um, and I have them sorted, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to close parentheses. Right? So data validation, if I change this to 13, it should return me the 13th. Now, chart, I highlight um, the data I want. Uh, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, and I have this notes over here. Alt F1 is in 2007 that came out. That's the default chart and it shows up on the sheet. In earlier versions, you just F11, and it did it as a new sheet. But this does it as the uh, on this actual sheet, Alt F1. I'm going to delete that. OK, you see that? Now, when I click on this, um, this data set, do you see how it's highlighting in the range all of that right there? I'm going to click Escape. And finally, a pivot table. The way pivot tables work is uh, field names at the top, records in rows, select one cell. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Alt-N-V-T. Alt-N-V-T. And I'm going to say, slap this table over here. Now this is going to be a silly little pivot table. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to drag the dates down to rows and the sales down to values. Now I'm going to close this field list. That's a silly table because it just repeats, but I could group or do whatever. All right, so there we have four things that are um, all related to that range. Now, how? What about the the pivot table? How how in the world do you know if I can even uh, find uh, with my expanded uh, change source data under the pivot table context uh, ribbons? Change source data. Oh. A4 to B10. So it got it too. All of those. Now watch this. Here's the big payoff. You just um, click in one cell, Control L in, in 2003, Control T in 2010 and 7. My data has tables, and then click OK. Now, uh, data validation, Alt DL, uh, Alt DL. Is it still looking at A5 to A10? Yeah, it is. Uh, v look up to A5 to B10. But watch this. I'm going to um, add a new record. I always like to hit Tab and add a new record. And I'm going to put 10 slash 19 slash 2009. And I'm going to put 50,000. Uh, you can already see that this changed. We didn't do anything. Do you realize that? All we did is convert it to a table. The range here for the chart updated. That A5 uh, to B11, so that changed. If I Alt DL, you can see that changed to uh, A11. And uh, pivot tables, you have to right click refresh. Right click refresh. And sure enough, it added it. Now, why in the world did it know how to do that? Because originally, that range right there, A5 to B11, it was B10, right? Well, the fact that we're using that range, as soon as we uh, convert this table, it had that range. And in memory, there's a name. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Control F3. 
And sure enough, there it is. That name got put in memory. And behind the scenes, as soon as we converted it to a table, it said uh, that range is, uh, was from uh, the whole table, including the data area, was down to the 10th row. In memory, it told everything that was related to that non-table data. As soon as it got converted, it told everything that was related to, hey, please update. Let's see if this works, too. Sure enough, there it is. And same with the VLOOKUP. So beautiful tables, uh, all sorts of great uses, um, dynamic range, one of the most amazing. Uh, we'll see you next trick.